Hello friends, before I start briefing on this calculator, let me wish you a very happy and colorful holy. As most of the users would be familiar with the previous depreciation calculator, there isn't uh, much to tell on how one should use this utility. However, still there are a few points that should be kept in mind. As you will open the calculator, you will find the sheet uh, called asset. Here you need to first list out all the assets uh, that you are going to have in your depreciation chart. Uh, say the assets that were in existence as on 1st April 2015. You can use uh, the previous calculator uh, to fill the, the list as on 31st March 2015 here. And, uh, if there are any addition to assets during the current financial year 2015 and 16, they should also be filled here. Okay, and I'll create one asset, say. I must not uh, forget to tell you that uh, here, uh, two assets should not be identical. So, let's make it furniture 2 and let's create one more asset machinery now select the appropriate uh, class as procedure 2 for furniture I'll select general and for and machinery general plant machine okay after you have created this asset list let's move to the opening sheet in the opening sheet you need to fill the details of all the assets that you were having as on 31st march 2015 and since you must have used the previous deposition calculator these uh, details should be with you and you should not have any problem in filling the details out of uh, the list as on 31st March 2014 now let's uh, <coughs> select this one furniture 2 select the shift same remaining useful life as on 1st April 2015 and that is equal to the remaining useful life of the asset as on 1st April 2014 minus 1 year so let's make it 3 if useful life expired as at 1st April 2014 you can see previous calculator if the use, uh, useful life of the asset was 0 or not if not make it a no if asset was sold during the financial year 15 16 if this asset was sold during the current financial year you should select a yes otherwise a no estimated residual value of the asset um, you can again refer to the previous depreciation chart to know the figure let's make it 1500 Now the depreciation rate should also be filled from the previous depreciation chart. Let's say make it 15.33. So after you have done with the sheet, let's move to the sheet addition. Okay, here I'll select the asset machinery and that is the sink single shift date of addition. Let's make it if sold in 15 16 before you fill any asset in uh, select any asset in the addition sheet make sure that you do not select it in the opening sheet okay now if sold in 15 16 i'll select no if i select a yes then i must give the date of sale and amount of sale now let's make it a yes now I need to give date of sale and suppose and I will give amount of sale 
Useful life is calculated as per schedule 2 by giving a default residual value of 5%. The rest of the values are calculated automatically. Now let's move to the sheet opening deletion. Here and now let's uh, go to the sheet opening again. For each uh, individual assets where we have selected a yes in column F that is if sold during the financial year 1516. Yes. For every yes selected here, these assets should appear in the opening deletion. That is a car. So I'll select car. Date of purchase. The date of purchase uh, must be as per the previous depreciation chart. Okay, let's make it date of deletion is obviously the any date between the current financial year that is and disposal amount say rupees and rest of the figures shall be calculated automatically and now finally move to the deposition chart okay as you can see all the assets that are in the asset chart there are five assets in the asset chart and they will automatically appear in the final deposition chart that is car building furniture furniture to and machine to car building furniture furniture to and machinery and uh, we can check the totals of the deposition chart here under so that's it i think uh, that will prove that will give a little help your calculations thank you